Good morning, everybody. Um, change of scenery. I'm currently not in Dubai. Um, I am back home in the best place in the world, Newcastle upon Tyne. Um, yeah, it's been a few days since the photo shoot. Um, since then, still kept things sensible, doing a maintenance and slash gaining phase. So weights went up by a little bit, but that's expected when you're in a such a depleted state, which I was. Um, but yeah, still been sensible with food choices, not tracking anything specifically, but still being conscious of my serving sizes, what I'm having, blah, 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 all that sort of shit. Um, but today I am going to do a like day at the beloved Ultra Flex Gym in Durham. Probably one of the best gyms I've ever trained at. I've trained at Muscle Beach, I've trained at gyms in Thailand, America, Dubai, obviously. Um, but no, Ultra Flex in Durham is 100% one of the best ones that I've trained at. Um, great selection of kit, got pit or a kit, Prime, Nautilus, Atlantis, just amazing. Um, and I thought I'd bring us along with it. So again, I had a sort of all right response with the photo shoot video. Um, and yeah, I want to sort of bring us along to educate and give us a bit of an insight in the life of what it's like to someone who is active in the gym. Um, but yeah, I shall see you in the gym and wish me luck because like day is a tough day and that's why a lot of people avoid it. Um, but it doesn't matter if you're tired, hungry, not had much sleep, muscles are sore. Just gotta fucking get on with it and get the work done. That's my mentality. Do it tired or like, if you're tired, do it tired. If you're hungry, do it hungry. A little bit achy, do it a little bit achy. Like, just swallow the pill and fucking deal with it. So, I shall see you in there. Wish me luck. Um, here in my leg training, I would start off with calf raises just because if I'm going to do them at the end, I'm probably going to avoid them. So I want to go home with how fucked I feel. But, um, but setting exercise, I would start with a lying leg curl. Um, with prime leg curls, it's very good because we have cam settings here. So the cam settings, we have middle range, end range, and beginning range of muscle group. So the beginning range, mostly the length in range, and um, the length in part of the muscle. Um, then range, obviously, the shortened position of the muscle in the mid is just going to the mid. Um, what I'm choosing today is I'm going to be working through set number five, which is going to be the middle and beginning range. That's because I want to work the length and part of my hamstring here. And then when it gets to the shortened, it's going to ease off so I can get a really good contraction because the resistance eases off as the movement goes on. Um, this is my first set. Um, see how it moves. Should be moving smoothly. Go to about RPA seven or eight in the first set, work up a nine in the second set, then third set, third or fourth set, we'll go 10 out of 10, want to work a failure. So, last set here, I'm going to try and go to failure, I'm going to go to kind of failure. So again, that looks at me losing range of motion, losing tempo, losing a lot of shit. Right. Try and get at least eight reps. Eight seven reps. So, failure again, I lost range of motion, tempo is going, just lost control of the weight, that's all, that's all the failure is. Go on till you've got a resistance, once you start using control of resistance, and you kind of optimize the movement, again with range of motion, tempo, all that sort of jazz, that's failure, simple as that. 
a flying leg curl done. I'm now going to go to seated leg curl. Simply no rash that behind us because my gym in the back does not have that. So I'm going to rinse that. And yeah, four sets done. Bash. Oh, Third set in here. What I've noticed is getting the most resistance in the end range, which is the shortened, part, um, shortened position of the muscle. So when I'm getting that contraction, the resistance is coming through the most there. And um, the reason why I'm talking to this a lot is because when it comes to lifting weights, we have different resistance profiles. So resistance profiles can be the most low in the beginning, end range, blah, 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 a lot more in depth. But prioritizing the end range here, getting the most. I'm getting cramps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got cramped there in my head. Fuck. <laughs> so, hamstrings done. Now with our thighs. First thigh exercise, the AK quad's going to be pendulum. So, warmed up now, getting my heart rate up, getting the thighs ready to fuck it up. But Again, the pendulum is absolutely fantastic. One of the best eye exercises there is. Based because you're getting maximum knee flexion with the most resistance. So when you achieve more knee flexion, when it comes to training legs, knee flexion initiates your thighs to be in the most lengthened position. AKA, me and your thighs getting the most resistance. AKA, me and your thighs getting fucking massive. However, for me, so I've got pitch legs. I've got shit legs. My legs are so bad. But it's going to be my main point of focus this year, hence why I'm doing this. So, going to the pendulum now. This will be my second working set. Again, just done one there. Felt good. Feels really nice. I love it. But yeah, again, let's get into it. Let's show it who's boss. Fuck it, right, boy. Titan. Titan. Come on. Come on. Game with going to failure. Yeah. It's hard when you've not got a training partner, but let's fucking try your best. Fuck. Pendulum done. Happy with that. Again, when you try to go to failure, it is hard when you've not got a training partner to go to true failure because I felt like I could have got another one or two reps there if I had someone just spotting me. Both doing the best I can, so I can see. That's all you can do in life. Try your best, and the rest will follow. So now I'm on my third set of leg extension. Again, I love that leg extension. I love the squeeze that you get. And again, when people say they love the squeeze from stuff, that's a muscle working in the shortened range. So when you're contracting the muscle, that's a muscle shortening. So pendulum prioritizes the lengthened state of a quad. Leg extension prioritizes the shortened state of the quad. So lengthened being fucked up. Now we're gonna fuck up the short and stay with the quad. Put that weight up. Let's go. <sighs> 
Yeah. I say I'm on holiday, I'm still in here fucking doing the work. Not because I've got to, because I fucking love it. That's why. But. And this is the last full exercise of the day. Um, never fucking used this for my life. Gave it a go, and if you won't set, and it is feeling tasty on the quads. So this will be my last quad exercise. And I think I'm going to finish off with a bit more hamstrings because I could have done a bit more work on them. So I'll finish with some more hamstring curls. And yeah, that'll be a wrap. So get in a sec. And we'll go from there. Just fucking hurt really us. Never used this for my life. Not the finest stuff at all. Fuck, man. Oh man. That's a negative of not working with a training partner. I panicked there. I pitched out. Could have got one or two more there. I do like training by myself because I think training's my time and like I like having that mental clearance of my zone, my time, do what I want, listen to my music. But training partner will be good. Them extra one or two reps that you do the training partner, accumulate them over the days, weeks, months, years, and you're going to see a much better physique than what you would training by yourself. But you can still fucking work hard and push yourself hard by yourself. So, yeah. My plan of action now is to finish off with some hamstrings and then go home because I've done this session fasted and man is. Hungry. So, like they wrapped up, wicked session, love training legs, like the feeling that you have after smashing your legs up is amazing and if you haven't experienced it yet, get in the fucking gym and experience it because it's just wicked. So, today look like hamstrings to start off with as I always do, calves to start off with, quads and then finish with a bit of hamstrings, that's all, so simple as that. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning, so I need to have my breakfast and have some calories because I'm currently very hungry. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today. A bit more insightful, a bit more rationale behind rounds than the exercises. Thought I'd give you a bit more like education on why I'm doing certain stuff and hopefully you can transition that into your own training. Um, if you enjoyed that, just let me know. Again, I appreciate messages saying like, good video, Nathan. Now nah, that was fucking shit, like... If I'm chatting shit, tell us. If it's actually helping you a little bit, tell me. Like, because I want to start doing this more. I think when I'm back in the bar, I'm going to start doing these every couple of days. Give you an insight into my exercise selection, my work. Like, I'm a personal trainer myself, so, like, I can show you a bit of, like, programming, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, yeah, uh, my meal prep, uh, my meals, and everything, all that sort of stuff. Very insightful, but, yeah, very good session. Love training. Love gym. Just love it. Need some food. I'm chatting shit. So, hope you enjoy the video. Again, any feedback is greatly appreciated. Please just let me know. But hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I shall see you very soon.